live. This is um, my first attempt, and I thought that what I would do is before trying to do our, our Thursday afternoon Bible study later on uh, today, um, I would try again to do one of my book notes. I mean, just to kind of share with you uh, interesting uh, sentences or paragraphs that that I'm reading along the way. Um, and one of the books that I'm reading, I just feel like it's so appropriate for the times. One of my friends, pastor friends, had re recommended it to me. And um, I mean, the title is, the title is How to Lead When You Don't Know Where You're Going. And I, I know that that can sound a little bit disheartening, but the book is actually, uh, I think, a lot more practical, uh, spiritual, and hopeful uh, than, that, than, that, um, than that title might suggest. Uh, by Susan Beaumont. It was, um, she printed in 2019. So even though I feel like it's really appropriate for what we've been going through, she actually had it published just before we went through all this stuff with uh, the COVID and uh, shutting churches down. And it's interesting because she spends a lot of time talking about um, liminal, liminal seasons, what she calls liminal seasons. And the word liminal just means kind of the in-between space where you're not, something is done, another thing is about to start, but it, you're kind of in between. Sometimes, sometimes the liminal stage, for instance, if you're going on a, um, if you're going on a trip and you have a destination, well, the liminal stage is that point between, that time between, which can be so important. Um, in any case, I thought I'd share with you just, I mean, the, right there in the, her opening uh, chapter, uh, actually, second page, I enjoyed these couple of, of, of paragraphs. Uh, and she says, um, uh, she writes about this liminal in-between seasons where something has ended, but a new thing has not yet begun. Seasons where watching and waiting can be difficult over planning can be futile, and it simply isn't helpful to pretend that we understand what happens next. Liminal seasons are challenging, disorienting, and unsettling. We strive to move forward with purpose and certainty. I know that sometimes I, I, I try to give off that vibe that, 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 oh yeah, we know exactly what we're doing next, and that's not always the case. I mean, I don't think any of us when we have like far-reaching plans, get there exactly the way we thought we would. Anyway, um, instead, we feel as though we are moving through mud, moving away from something comfortable and known towards something that can't yet be known. But then she says, liminal seasons are also exciting and innovative. The promise of a new beginning unleashes creative energy potential, and passion. All truly great innova innovations are incubated in liminality. God's greatest work occurs in liminal space. I just thought that was a great opening um, couple lines to her book. I'm looking forward to the rest, and I've got uh, plenty of more to read in that book, but it's something you might want to pick up as well, um, especially if you're in church leadership. But Thought I'd share that with you and uh, also to try to give my new YouTube channel uh, live a chance to show me how well it works. Blessings to y'all. I'll see you a little bit later today. I have to learn how to turn it off.